What is going on, YouTube Nation? This is Dark Dividend. If you guys are new to my YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe and hit notification bell so you don't miss future videos. Main Street Capital is the king of the monthly dividend BDCs. I like this stock so much. I know you guys have asked me numerous times to compare Main versus Prospect versus Gain versus Horizon. I'm going to do that right now. I like Main so much. I have shares in my E Trade dividend portfolio and I actually sold one of my covered call ETNs. Put Maine on there because I like Maine so much because it's such a great business development development company. Like I'm like barely talking. I'm exhausted. You got significant dividend increases. I'm going to show you the dividend history of Maine, Prospect, Gain, and Horizon. I'm going to show you the price per share. I'm going to show you why I like Maine so much better. I'm not going to go in-depth into their portfolios, but I'm just going to show you revenue-wise how they're doing and these dividends. Look, when I invest in dividend stocks, I want dividend increases over time. That's why I made a video for you guys to explain to you why QYLD, RYLD, and XYLD are not the best dividend stocks in the long run because you're in a window. You're almost like a bond. Okay, you got, like for when I said like with QYLD, it's right here to 17 cents at worst or 16 to 24, 25 maybe, 26 at, at best. And you got Main Street Capital who slowly increases their dividend over time. And they're actually doing something. The revenue's there. And this is why I like these guys. So let me show you this. This is very important information that I'm going to share to you. This is not financial advice for entertainment purposes only. I have a disclaimer in my description. You got to see why Maine is the real deal and why these other three cannot compete with them. Well, let's check this out right here. I'm doing a comparison of all the four stocks i got main street capital which is right here okay right here at 45.83 in the past five years i have prospect capital who's right here at the bottom i have gladstone investment corp who's way up here okay, it's at 1653 and i have horizon technology who is right here so first of all, Main Street Capital is sitting at $45.83. Its day range is $45.53 to $46.02. Its year range is $30.41 to $46.44. EE ratio is 9.92. Its dividend yield is 5.50%. So this is a business development company. Remember, all three, I'm sorry, all four of these have to distribute 90% of their earnings back to us as investors because that's part of the rules. If you want to be a BDC? 90% of what you make goes back to the investors. That's the same thing with a real estate investment trust. The other thing I like about Main Street Capital, which I'll compare the revenue of all four of these, which is very important, is Main Street Capital has consistent revenue increases, and they're not just stagnant. They're not just dropping. Okay, you see Prospect Capital. You look in the, since inception, Main Street Capital is just killing everyone. And you get these guys, nah, okay, I'm right here, okay. And you get Prospect way at the bottom, not even doing anything. It's almost like a yield trap. Didn't I post a video about yield traps? Decreased price per share, not really doing anything. Dividends kind of stagnant. If you bought the dip, fantastic. But here we go. Gladstone going up. Horizon Technology going up. So let's check out the revenue of these four stocks. Let's start with Main Street Capital. This is in millions of US dollars. 140, 164, 178, 205, 233, 243. And play the pandemic card, 222.614. So that's not bad. I like the dividend increases. You can blame it on the pandemic for the, some of these issues. But that's okay because, you know, they're increasing their dividend, which I'll show you over time. And they're slowly increasing their revenue. 2020 was a, a crazy year. So I'm going to let that one slide. But I just like the increases. Let me show you the next one. If you look at Prospect Capital, in 2015, it was 791, 791, 701, 657, 703, 623, 631. So you're seeing a steady decrease. It hasn't even hit 700 yet. So that, to me, raises a big red flag as to why prospect why i'm kind of pulling away and i'm staying away from prospect capital because i don't like that revenue the way things are looking 
revenue has gone down. And again, the price per share has gone down and the revenue has gone down. Got to be careful. Let's jump to the next one. Now, here's something that's important looking at Gladstone Investment Corp. So you're seeing increases 41, 50, 51, 58, 59, 61, 56. Wait a second, it went up and then it went down. Hmm. Looked really good. Don't get me wrong, I own gain. But it went down. 61 to 56. Main Street Capital was consistently up. It took one hit from the pandemic and went down. But this is kind of post-pandemic. So that's one thing to look into with gain. Let's go to the last one. Now here's Horizon Technology. We're getting a little bit of a rebound. It's 31, 32, 25, 31, 43, 46. It's on an upswing. So that is a good thing about Horizon Technology Finance. Now let's we'll start discussing dividends. So here's HRZN or Horizon Technology, 11.5. Let's just say 11.5 cents. 10 cents. Stuck. 6.8% dividend yield. PE ratio 12.57. Nope. Not for me. I had them. Nope. I like them. I, I do like them. But look at this little special one that they snuck in there. There's potential with these guys. But do I like it more than uh, Main Street Capital? No. Is this a good monthly dividend stock? Sure. I mean, it's it's not decreasing over time. It's stuck at 10. Revenue is going up. Price per share is going up. There's potential. Let's jump to the next my my. Here's prospect capital. 11 cents, 8 cents, 6 cents. You getting up there? Nope. You're stuck at 6 cents. So imagine that. You're decreasing their div your dividend over time. Sure, it's $8.88. Great. PE ratio 3.43, dividend yield at 8.05%. But I don't see a dividend increase, which is very unattractive. Let's jump to the next one. All right, we're in business a little bit. Here's gain. Seven cents, eight cents, ooh, four cents. Slowly, five, six. There's a special one they threw in there. Uh, six. Six, seven, seven, getting there, $16.53, hit seven cents, dividend yield of 5.45%, PE ratio 4.93, all right, I'll take it, that's why I own it, pretty good, let's show Main Street Capital, this is what I like about it, oh yeah, now we're talking, look at this, 2013, 16 cents, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 cents. They hit 21 cents. $45.83 of a dividend yield of 5.53%. Annual dividend of $2.52. This is why I have main now on my M1 Finance dividend portfolio. I've replaced it with one of my covered call ETNs. These covered call ETNs, I, I mean, short term, great. I'm looking at long term. Like I said in my last video with QYLD, RYLD, and XYLD, I actually did decrease the price uh, percentage on my QYLD, RYLD, and XYLD for people like Main Street Capital because I know that these dividends are going to increase over time. I want the long term raises, I want the long term dividends. So, you know, it's great if I can get to $100 of QYLD, RYLD, and XYLD with my monthly dividends. Again, I want to try to get up to 100 a piece with those guys, which I think is possible. But you know what's really possible is to get dividend increases, consistent dividend increases. Now, I'm not in that window with like QYLD, RYLD, and XYLD where I can only go here and I can only go here. Okay, I want to go here. Okay, so that's kind of what I'm doing with my M1 Finance Dividend Portfolio Strategy. And this is why I like Main Street Capital a lot. So if you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss future videos. Do you like my strategy? Let me know.